I really think that this election especially is not just for control of our government, it's for the heart and soul of this country. And if we lose this now, we'll never ever regain it. It'll be gone forever. As I go through the district, I have an opportunity to talk to people who really have spent their whole lifetimes building a business. They build it from the ground up. They start with a real solid foundation, and then they use the right materials to build it and make it better. The president made a statement about, you didn't build that. And when he criticizes people, or, or really, I think what bothers me more is he's dismissive of people's efforts. I've got manufacturers, you see what these people have done, and how they scrimp and save, and how they will go through payrolls well, they will pay everybody to make sure that they can go home and put food on the table and clothes in the backs of their children to make sure the roof's still They don't take a paycheck themselves. And some of them right now are going on a year or two without taking a paycheck themselves. So when you start to hear that, and then you hear somebody who is very dismissive of, oh, you didn't do that. The heck we didn't. We built it. We built it from scratch. We built our towns. We built our churches, our schools. We built our country. This has taken a long process to do, and for somebody to stand up there and say that you didn't do that, that is so absolutely disrespectful and ignorant and arrogant of a person to say that. It just shows a total disconnect of what it really has taken to build this country. We need people coming out of the private sector who have faced adversity, uh, who don't have the ability, by the way, just to uh, print money as they're running short. And it really doesn't matter if you're a butcher or a banker. It doesn't matter if you're a guy that's in manufacturing or a guy that's in mining. They're all looking at this and they're saying, when does it stop? When do we ever get that heavy, heavy boot, that regulatory boot of the government off our throat? And when can we put our head in the pillow at night and not have to worry that our own government is busy working 24 hours away to take what we built, so much of what we are. Our souls are in this. And when somebody goes after that, when it's your own government, there's something wrong. But you know, when you talk to people today, uh, one of the things that they keep saying, you know what, you guys are doing a good job. Wait, I'm really worried. I'm really worried for the country right now. I'm afraid. I'm afraid we're going in the wrong direction. And I know that there's no good end if this president gets four more years. And I say, you know what? You don't have to be afraid in this country because you can go out and you can vote. This one is not optional. There may be times in the past where you thought, I don't have to really vote this time. It's no big deal. Nobody should be on the sideline, and I really mean that sincerely. America's greatness is still here. The promise of America is still here. The future of America right now is November the 6th. We can pull together. We can, again, achieve great, great things working as a team to get there. It's not gonna be protected by the Constitution. It's not gonna be protected by the Supreme Court or any laws out there. It's gonna be protected by those of us who love this country and wanted to succeed. It's that simple.